just a really quick quick video um, showing people the difference between no HLSL and a little bit of HLSL settings and um, maybe like also kind of going over some of the changes that I've made recently to my HLSL settings and why okay um, I decided instead of just showing full screen side-by-side -side comparisons I would take snapshots with effects on and off or altered and then zoom in so you can really see the difference alright so in the middle here you have no HLSL and because of the upscaling that occurs on a really old low resolution game to a big HD monitor um, it ends up looking more pixelated than it than it would have originally on the arcade cabinet and so that's the problem and so if you use some HLSL settings it's gonna help with that a lot alright so what I had in the past was uh, where is it I had this one over here on the left these were my HLSL settings 2.0 bloom 1.0 defocus but I've recently decided a little less bloom is a little bit better and maybe maybe depending on the game a little less defocus is maybe a little bit better and I'll try to explain that with some Street Fighter images here okay um, well anyways here's an original with on the left with no HLSL and here's one on the right with settings that I kind of more currently use and you can see that that it's way better on the right you know what I mean like little jaggies and stuff like that or more smooth you know but let's go ahead and like look at one where here's my old settings on the left and here's more current on the right and ba basically what I'm doing is reducing the bloom from two to one and the reason that I'm doing that is because if you look in here like let's say you look at uh let's go back to the original image again in the original image you can see I'll draw on it so you can really see let's just grab like a bright red or something all right notice right in whoa that's too thin let's get a bigger one that's too big somewhere around here. I don't know, there or something all right notice right in here see inside there's that blue all right and then you know it goes out like a triangle right here and you can kind of still see it inside here but if you use the settings I used to use it's just plain white right here like you should be able to see blue within this space but instead it's kind of just chopped off in white here because the bloom is chopping it off and over here it's the same thing only reduce bloom and you can see a little more of the blue in this area right there right same thing with the hands see how it's just kind of a big white piece of meat right here and this one you've got this darker section right here but in here inside of there it's not it's just all bright white it's all the same see if you go to the original you see here's a dark shade and here's a white shade all right dark shade and a white shade but when I had the 2.0 you know what I mean it was basically just kinda all white and it would start washing out some of the differences there and then here you can see just a little bit more that some of that original intent is appearing as it should again right here you see some of the original a good one is the collar so you look at the original image and you can see that there's a collar right here right and then with the 2.0 it's kinda of washed away and it's just white right here but with the 1.0 bloom it brings some of that collar back alright so that's why I'm thinking 1.0 bloom is actually just better because you're not losing as many of the details but you still get a bit of a glow effect um, as far as defocus options over on the left here's a more sharpened 0.5 defocus and here's a 1.0 defocus which is the standard I've been using for a long time now some people might like how like look at the one on the right this is what I typically use but look at the eyes see how they're kind of blurry kind of like if you had watery eyes you know like you were tearing up and you were trying to look out through your watery eyes and everything's a little blurry on the left everything is more sharp and focused but I mean also everything's more jaggedy on the left and so it's like you got to find a happy balance a good way to look at that is Mortal Kombat games um, let's see these are all the same defocus let's go look at a different one zero defocus oh they're on the right here we go alright 0.5 defocus on the left full 1.0 defocus on the right alright in the middle is no HLSL at all okay so the difference between 0.5 defocus and 1.0 defocus is hard to even distinguish between so if you were trying to sharpen things back up and go with a lower defocus you can only go so far before you start getting this pixelated looking mess again um, 
Like for instance, look at the bandana here. See the stair step effect? It's just so obvious, stair step effect, the bad alias edge. And when you add more defocus in, you get a smoother, more, you know, you get, kind of get an anti-aliasing effect. And then on the right, with even more defocus, you get an even smoother variant. And you can really see that, like if you look at the number one here, and you look at this edge, how it's got kind of got a staircase effect still. Not as bad as with no HLSL, obviously, but look at the, when you go to 1.0 defocus, it's pretty much just a smooth straight line. Over here, you can still see a little bit of that staircase aliased edge effect. So the reason I've always gone with 1.0 defocus is because it takes your aliased edges and basically, for practical purposes, does some anti-aliasing in a sense. It takes a stair step, aliased edge, and it smoothens it out. The problem is the more you do that, the blurrier everything gets. So if you want something that's still pretty pretty well aliased or anti-aliased, but not that blurry, maybe a 0.5 or a 0.8 instead of the full 1.0. But this is basically something I wanted to kind of cover very, very briefly because, you know, I, I don't use uh, 2.0 Bloom anymore. You know what I mean? Like when I play a game, here was on the left was the 2.0 Bloom, and here on the right is the current Bloom I use 1.0. And mainly that's because, like look at the hairline up here. Right here, you can see just to the left of where I'm going to draw, there's some yellow there. And over here, just to the left it's of where I draw, that same yellow streak is just kind of blended away and washed out. So you just, you know what I mean, you get little hints of it, but over here you get the actual full thing in there. You know what I mean? So it's less washed out. And so that's why I'm using the 1.0 basically because you're going to get a little bit more detail. But anyways, yeah, I really also just have never really shown people the difference between HLSL and no HLSL effects when you're really zoomed in, you know? Like here's a normal image with no HLSL and look at how bad it looks because of the upscaling. And then this is what HLSL does to you. You know what I mean? It really helps to make it look proper. And uh, in the past, I've always shown that at a distance, and it was harder to tell. Like, at, here's no HLSL right here. And then over here, this is with HLSL. And so if you go back and forth on the full image, you can kind of see the difference. But when you look back and forth up close, that's when you really see the difference. So that's also why I wanted to make this video, but mainly just to say I don't use 2.0 Bloom anymore. Now I use 1.0 Bloom and for defocus, I, I think I always had it on 1.0, maybe 0.8, but for some games it does look better to have a little bit less defocus and some games a little more. Mortal Kombat 2 is a good example of why you like, you will want defocus to be kind of high. Um, here in this first image, this is 1.0 defocus. And in the second image, it's no defocus at all, so it's sharp. And look at Reptile, like, see right here, <clears throat> like just, oh, let me get my pen back or whatever. See this line in his outfit? Oh, hang on, I got a select tool going on. There we go. See this line in his outfit right here? This black line, the stair step effect? That's without defocus. And when you go to something that has a lot of defocus added in like in this one 1.0 you see that same line but now instead of it looking all jaggedy see here's the jaggedy let me zoom in there jaggedy smooth it looks so much better so for a game like you know Mortal Kombat 2 where you're seeing digitized actors and everything's supposed to look very natural it really makes a difference <coughs> jaggy smooth jaggy smooth so 1.0 is basically yeah it's gonna make things more blurry but it's worth it considering you know you don't have to worry about such jaggies like look at the top of Baraka's head see how you can see every little stair step appearance but with the 1.0 defocus top of his head is more rounded out by comparison so things like that matter but anyways I just want to keep this video pretty short, so I'm going to go ahead and end it there.